Alright, what's up you guys? Decided to bring you, as promised, this new story of me and my childhood. Decided to use Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 throwback game for a throwback story. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so this is a story of how Mexican food doesn't affect me. Like, okay, this one time I went stupid hard. And this is a story. So anyway, growing up I used to play baseball. And me and my friend Brantley, we were on the same team. We were playing a game this Friday night. Or not this Friday night, obviously, in the story. So we were playing a game that Friday night. And we ended up winning, like, I hit a home run or he hit a home run. I'm going to sound like a tool and say, I did it. Sorry, Brantley, if you did. But anyway, so we were, you know, freaking out because we just won a game. So we were like, hey, you know, let's stay the night at your house because I don't know why I didn't invite him to my house, but whatever. So we stayed the night at his house. So our parents were like, hey, you know, let's go out to eat. What do y'all want to eat? Now, I love tacos. Like, tacos are the best food in the world. So, of course, I was like, you know, hey, let's go get Mexican food. Mistake number one. Okay, so we go and get Mexican food. We're at the restaurant, get our seat, get our food. I, over here, get, you know, 88 tacos or some. I just get stupid amount of food for, you know, me being like seven years old or eight. I don't know. It was just ridiculous. So anyway, I go hard. Like, I eat everything. Like, you would have been like, all right, seriously, where's this kid's food? Because I killed it. So anyway, we go, go back to his house. And on the way there, stomach starts, you know, blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh God, you know, it's, it's about to go down. Something's about to happen. This is not good. So I'm over there, you know, trying not to cry because I think it's, I kind of think it's funny, kind of don't. Because I don't know what's going to happen. Like, this is like Russian roulette over here. I don't know what's about to go down. So anyway, Brantley's dog, his name was Joel. His dog literally had the worst gas in the world. Like, when we were eight, we thought it was funny. But we called him the Fart Master 3000. Because this dog would literally put you on your butt. It was the worst. So anyway, this is this is good for me. You know, I'm weighing out the options. I'm like, okay, this is good because you know, say I let one rip, boom, blame it on the dog, and it's believable because the dog's parts are terrible. So I'm good. I got my part of the story covered. So anyway, my stomach is like, let me sing you the song of my people. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm sitting there like, oh god. You know, you can tell when it's about to go down. It was one of these moments, like something was about to go down. Check yourself before you wrecked yourself. Didn't check myself, totally wrecked it. But anyway, you know, thing happens. It didn't turn out the way I thought it was. It's like, oh, dude, hey Brent, we check this one out. <gasps> well, no, that, yeah, didn't really happen that way. Freaking messed up my shorts. It was terrible. So I'm sitting here, like, crapped myself at my friend's house. Didn't bring a change of underwear because I was retarded. So I'm just sitting there like, oh god, you know, what do I do? Like, can't really blame this one on the dog. But at the time we were playing, like, at his computer. This is back before we had internet, back in the old days. But, uh, we would go and play a pinball game on this computer. And I don't know why we thought that game was so fun, besides the fact it was fun, greatest game ever. So I was playing that and it was like, oh god, you know, I can't move. Like, I am confined to this chair for the rest of the night. Because I don't want him to know what happened. But that, boom, slap to the pride. I am not about to get up. Blame? No. You can't blame this on the dog. You're like, bro, you know, it's following you. Like, that obviously ain't the dog. Anyway, so can't really blame this one on the dog. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just just kind of sit there. But if it wasn't for that ping pong, or not ping pong, if it wasn't for that pinball game, I don't know what I would have done. Cause for the next like eight hours, boom, I was glued to that computer. Didn't go to the bathroom. I didn't drink water. I didn't eat. I didn't do anything. I was not about to let my friend know I just wrecked my shorts. Like, no. I can't do it. Like, we were bros. It takes a certain amount of bros to be like, hey, bro, you know, I just, I just pooped everywhere. Like, I just totally wrecked you. Like, 
No, that ain't happening. I gotta let my pride take that hit. So I literally stay up all night playing that pinball game. I think it had like the top seven high scores because I was focused. Like I, I was not about to not sit there and just be like, you know, this is really bad. So anyway, the next morning comes up and his mom comes in and she's like, you know, what the heck? Because it smells like straight butt in that room. Because, you know, obviously, dun dun dun. So, it smells terrible in that room. Like, it's, yeah, oh, it's so bad. So, <laughs> they come back and I was like, you know, smooth on my feet. I was like, yeah, it's the dog. He's been doing that all night. So, literally the dog gets put outside in its cage. And I didn't even feel bad. I was like, you know, I blame this on the dog. I can't let the dog know it wasn't him. Because, I mean, the dog didn't know what he did wrong. I didn't do anything wrong, or at least no one knew I did anything wrong. So anyway, mom comes. The dog is like outside, like caged up. He can't come inside because his mom is so mad at the fact that he dog wrecked the house. So anyway, the dog's outside in the cage just chilling. Know, looking all sad because it's sitting there thinking why am I in this cage Matt's the one who pooped himself so anyway mom comes home somehow I make it out to the car and make it home and I'm just like you know miserable at this point I'm just like seriously this is stupid anyway I get home shower off change shorts for the first time in like ever and then that's the end of the story and that's how Taco Bell doesn't affect me anymore